Quick disclaimer, I have been sent all my Carboni whistles, just if you guys didn't know, but they haven't asked me to say nice things, they haven't paid me to make any reviews. All they've done is sent me whistles, and I do genuinely, absolutely adore them. Hello beautiful people, thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'm showing you guys something super special, and that is the Carboni Carbon Fibre Close Finger Hole Spacing Low C Whistle. Now I have reviewed the Carboni Close Finger Hole Spacing Low D Whistle previously on the channel, if you guys would like to watch that video, it'll be linked up here on the i, in the description down below, and at the end of the video, so make sure to check that out. But today, we're on the low C, so I'm going to give you guys some close-ups, some information about this whistle, and of course, some raw sound samples, so you guys can basically hear how this beauty plays. <laughs> now, I'm going to start off by telling you guys about the close finger hole spacing technology, that's what I'm going to call it, because it's something really special. If you guys haven't heard of these whistles before, they're made by Carboni Celtic Winds. You will find links to the website in the description down below um, and on screen. But this particular low whistle has been designed so that the finger holes are considerably closer than other low whistles out there on the market. And this is all due to innovative designs on the inside of the whistle that you can't actually see. So with a close finger hole spacing low whistle, there are something called chimney extenders on the inside of the whistle. And these chimney extenders are little tubes that come on a diagonal from the finger holes into the body of the whistle. Now from this close up, you may be able to see that some finger holes don't have chimney extenders, while others do. You can sort of see the little tube going inside this hole. And what this does is, basically it means you can move the hole further up or closer together on the outside, because the hole is still further down on the inside. And this innovative little trick, which you guys can see on some of the other holes here, allows the finger holes to be spaced a lot closer together. Now, as a direct comparison, I have my James Dominic music whistle here, and my Carboni Close Finger Hole Spacing Low C Whistle here. Both of these are low C whistles, and this is the top hand alone. If I move down, you guys can see at the bottom hand, there's less of a difference perhaps, but again, still a significant difference in the distance between the finger holes. Now, for most low D and even low C whistles, you should be able to eventually reach the finger stretch um, with a little bit of practice if you have regular size hands. If you have large size hands or uh, flexible fingers, you guys should be okay with most low whistles. But for those people with smaller or less flexible fingers, the close finger hole spacing low whistles can even be reached with the finger pads without even needing the piper's grip. On the James Dominic Low C, the top finger hole spacing I can just about reach with my finger pads, but as you can see, it's quite an uncomfortable position. So I tend to use the piper's grip top and bottom for this whistle and it's still quite a stretch on the top hand. I have got a video that contains some exercises that you guys can use to help increase your finger flexibility and stretch. Um, and obviously with practice, if you play with whistles that stretch your hands out, it's like anything. You can, you can expand your reach of your hands just with regular stretching and exercise. But obviously some people don't want to practice that and don't have the time or the patience or whatever, and I completely understand that. For those who just get the impression that their hands are too small, that there's no way that they're ever going to reach that stretch. This is a low C whistle, and I can cover it with my fingertips, my finger pads. Not the piper's grip, my finger pads. Now if I give you some close-ups of the whistle here, you can see the beautiful ebonite tip. This is nicely moulded into this lovely comfortable shape. These whistles don't clog at all in my experience, which is really nice, and they are super comfortable in the mouth. Moving down, you'll see that the window blade here does have basically a little rim around the outside, and this is really useful for if you're playing outside, it cuts off a little bit of wind, but also helps to give it a nicer tone and regulate the sort of volume throughout the whistle. You'll see the Carboni logo a little further down, Carboni do make a range of different instruments, so worth checking those out if you play other things as well, such as flutes, cilian pipes, etc. Moving down, the whistle's made from carbon fibre. You can see the uh, holes, as we've mentioned, with the chimney extenders going inside on some of them. Again, they're different sizes. This is to get the right notes and get the perfect pitch. And when we get to the end here, you'll see that we have this angled ending, which is quite typical of carbony whistles. I quite like that. It's a bit of a signature look. 
The carbon fibre itself is actually quite thick, which gives these low whistles a beautiful tone. They're not heavy, they're nice and lightweight, beautiful craftsmanship. You do have the little model number at the back here as well. It's just an all-round very professional and aesthetically pleasing whistle. One thing you may not have picked up on the close-ups there is this is a ever so slightly tapered bore whistle. Again, just helps with the unique character of the voice of this whistle as well. Um, I'll give you guys a bit of a playthrough now so you can hear how it sounds. Um, I have played this already on my channel, so do check out some of the other videos. I'll put them up at the end where I'm playing this whistle. But let's play something nice and hear how it sounds. there just gives you an idea of how responsive this whistle is. It doesn't take a lot of effort, a lot of air pressure to get to those high notes, but at the same time you don't have this tiny amount of air requirement for the bottom notes, so it's quite a balanced air requirement and speed whistle, really responsive and uh, not overly loud throughout, which is kind of nice. <laughs> it's got um, a lovely rich kind of breathy quality to it. I really like the sound of this baby. see and here you can play this with a piper's grip but you can also play all sorts of tunes with your finger pads you don't need the piper's grip for this low C whistle that is insane the tone the voice of this low whistle is absolutely beautiful it's got that gorgeous haunting quality that everybody wants from low whistles now when it comes to final thoughts on this whistle I don't have any negatives whatsoever from carbony low whistles. The close finger hole spacing is absolutely incredible. Um, obviously, for a lot of people, the price is kind of what stops them actually going ahead and buying carbony whistles. Carbony whistles come with a lifetime warranty, so you are getting value for money. If anything ever happens, you do have a lifetime warranty on these whistles, so you can go back and get it fixed and get it sorted out. So. Essentially, you it is an investment. I know you guys can find all sorts of details and prices on all the different whistles on Carbony's website. I mean, you won't need any other whistles. <laughs> I do have a whole selection of low whistles, D whistles, C whistles. I keep them for the difference in their vocal quality. Um, but if you're looking for a whistle and you're concerned about spending the money, then don't be. If you have it there or you're interested in making the investment, it's definitely going to be worth the money that you've paid for it. So I hope you like the sound of this. Um, I will be playing it a lot. I do have a few other amazing carbony instruments to show you, um, but I'm going to save those for another video. I have a high G whistle, I have a leading tone whistle, which I'm also going to show you guys, and I have a flute, which is absolutely incredible. So please do stay tuned to keep an eye out for those. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Happy whistling. Don't forget if you guys want to support me and the channel, you can check me out on Coffee and Patreon where you guys can get exclusive extras, monthly videos, PDF printable tabs, backing tracks, and MP3 covers on Patreon. And coffee is just a one-off if you guys loved my content and you just wanted to show me how much you loved it. Don't forget to check out some of the other videos I mentioned, including the Carbony Low D, examples of me playing the Low C and Low D whistles as well, and of course that subscribe button so you guys can subscribe, hit the bell, and get notified every time I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching, happy whistling, I'll see you again very soon. Bye!